Okay, so when doing the invert or when doing the composition of sine arc cosine of negative square root of two over two, the first thing I want to do is evaluate for my innermost function, which would be the inverse cosine of negative square root of two over two. And remember, what that really says is what angle, when I take the cosine of it, is going to give me negative square root of two, which I can write of sorry, cosine of theta equals negative square root of two over two. So what angle will produce me that? So I go and look at my unit circle, and I notice that at negative square root of two over two, I can see what is going to be this angle that would be fall my cosine. And I make sure that it's within my range of zero and pi for the cosine function. So this angle is going to be at three pi over four. So you could say theta equals three pi over four. So now what I've done is I've evaluated for the arc cosine of negative square root of two or divided by two. So therefore, that evaluation, I'm now going to take sine of three pi over four. So now when looking at the sine of my three pi over four, for in this angle when it falls within my cosine function or my inverse cosine function, that I can say the sine value is going to equal the square root of two divided by two. Therefore, the sine of arc cosine of negative square root of two divided by two is equal to the positive square root of two divided by two. Thanks.